Here in America, when we debate bringing in refugees from Syria, you'll very often hear people say that we should send them back, that they should just go home. Well, here is drone footage of homes, recently the third largest city in Syria. Every time I watch it, I just can't believe that that is, that is a real place that exists. That's not footage from the next Mad Max. That's not some post-apocalyptic video game. That is a real place where there are very few people who can still actually live. It can't sustain that much human life. But people callously say, well, why aren't they fighting for their country? Why don't they go back and fix that? What would you do if that was your home? Uh, it's hard to watch that and not be just crushed by what has happened in that country. And it makes it so easy to understand why literally millions of people, a huge percentage of the entire population of that country, has been forced to leave. Because it has been blown into an inability to even sustain human life. So when we talk about sending refugees back home, it's important to bear in mind what their home actually looks like and what we'd be sending them back to. And that's my final judgment.